love came to my door with a sleeping roll and a madman's soul. He thought for sure I'd seen him dancing up a river in the dark, looking for a woman to court and six months, I have spent my entire life here in Muncie, Indiana. About ten years on the farm, it was uh, the funnest job you'll ever hate. I mean, you know, we had to be out there every day, no matter what the conditions, feeding the hogs, feeding the cows. It was a lot of hard work, but it was a lot of fun, too. It was, you really felt like you were getting something done. I wanted to be away from the city. I was kind of, uh, you know, waiting on the apocalypse at that point, and I wanted to get out in the county and be away from town. My parents have a picture of me at five years old, bent over into the console stereo, changing the record, and Piggy Poco, that was my favorite. I'm, sh I'm sure that's because of my dad. He was a huge Nat King Cole fan, Herb Alpert, and they played records all the time. I mean, they listened to music regularly. Of course, there wasn't that much TV back then, so records, music, was the only other really at-home entertainment. Me and my sister were in a dance c academy, the Cole, a dance academy, and we did square dancing, and uh, we were pretty good. We went to the Louisville State Fair and performed, and that was really my first musical. Plus, I sang. Uh, like a little number <laughs> when I was just like six years old on the stage and that was really taken after my dad what can I he always was singing around the house and so that was just a natural progression for me and I thank him very profusely for my love of music I worked at Musicland was my first actual music store and I was just a part-time employee and, of course, I loved it because music was very important to me. Well, that was right after I worked on the farm. And so I kind of went from working on the farm to working in the music store, which kind of a different transition. Well, I worked in Musicland for about two years and eventually rose to manage the one here in Muncie. And then, you know, I got out of Musicland and went to Karma which was right across the street, and uh, was there for about 10, 11 years, till they went out of business and then had to start my own business. Took my last $300 of unemployment money and borrowed 300 from my dad, and we went at it. We, went in, we rented a space. We had to go in and tear down the walls uh, so we could you know, open it up and make it into a store-like spot, but it, uh, 
it was pretty amazing. It, it came together in about 30 days. And just, you know, we, uh, we had these bins and, and all this stuff in storage. And we knocked those walls down, moved those bins in, and borrowed some product from my own collection and started her up. I couldn't find a job that looked like I would have any chance of ever having any real, you know, future. So I thought I'd better do something for myself. And, you know, we're, the, the jury's still out on whether that was, you know, really the smartest thing in the world because it's been tough. Uh, you know, and it's still tough. Muncie's a very tough economic place in which to try to do what I'm doing. We had to uh, move from our first location uh, because it was uh, the building was sold to make way for a parking lot for one of the local school projects. Um, so, you know, after six years we had to get a new spot or go out of business and it came right down to the very end. I mean, I thought I was going out of business until like about a week before I moved. And plus, I really wanted to stay downtown. I thought that was where I wanted to be, uh, where I wanted to have my business. So we cast around for a while and then luckily came across the place that we're in now. We're still moving in. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, we're still lining things out and trying to learn how it's going to finally be. But it took six years to get into the other one, so I imagine it's going to take a couple of years to get really comfortable in this one. It really broke me down kind of mentally and physically. Uh, you know, it's very... I'm not good with change, so this was a big change, and consequently I sweat quite a bit about, you know, how it was going to go and whether it was going to be okay over here. and. And it has. It has been okay. It's been a tough Christmas. It's been kind of a slow December and, and November. But up until then, things were really going pretty good. So I'm hopeful and, you know, I'm encouraged. You know, I think we'll be able to continue. But we're going to do our damnedest to keep it in business and, uh, you know, sacrifice whatever it takes. It's, uh, it is a labor of love, so, you know, until they come and nail the door shut, I'll be here. He just don't worry about nothing, cause he's got his own.